Hi everybody, my name is Karina and today we have a review of all the new summer body care that came out at Bath and Body Works. I was going to separate it into separate videos for the different collections, but you know what? If I was watching someone on YouTube review the collections, I would want I would want all of it at once. I would want to know everything about every scent. So, I said, "You know what? Let's just do it." I hopefully I don't talk too long and this video isn't like ages long because there are nine nine scents that I need to smell and review for you guys, which I'm so excited about. So if you like these type of videos, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel, and let's get into it. Alright, I'm going to start with Berry Waffle Cone because I got this in a hand soap not that long ago, and I really like it, but it does have a lot of that waffle cone scent, so I'm curious if the body care does as well. The packaging, I think it is very cute. This kind of reminds me of like winter packaging. I know it has summer things going on, but because of how like mellow it is, it just reminds me of something that they would come out in the winter with like the snow on the bottom. I don't know. I don't know, maybe I just like really loud bright packaging, but Berry Waffle Cone is Sweet Summer Berries Golden Waffle Cone Creamy Vanilla. So like berry ice cream, I'm guessing, in a waffle cone. And let me tell you, I have smelled this already. And this is like bomb. On initial spray, I get very intense just waffle cone. Very intense waffle cone. And I was like, mm, you know, I like it. It's gourmand, it's nice, but I want all those other notes, you know? It's like a mixture between strawberry pound cake and raspberry jam donut, I feel like. And then as it kind of settles, this literally smells like really, really sweet whipped cream, like actual whipped cream, berries, an ice cream, and a waffle cone. The waffle cone scent is still very strong, but I think that's what makes it so gourmand and so beautiful. I literally sprayed this on my hand the other day and I just could not stop smelling myself. It smells absolutely amazing. Do you guys have a Cold Stone Creamery by you? I don't know how widespread that is, but there's this place I used to work at it called Cold Stone and they would have creations, as in you would order the cookie something something and it would have, they would like make it in front of you and mix in all the ingredients. Like this smells like one of those creations. It smells like you put together a waffle cone, um, a sweet cream ice cream and like strawberries, blueberries, and raspberries into an ice cream cone. If you like gourmand scents, you like raspberry jam donut, you like strawberry pound cake, like this will be right up your alley because raspberry jam donut has a very intense donut scent. It's not just strictly like raspberry jam. So maybe the waffle cone in this won't bother you as much, but yeah, highly, highly recommend the berry waffle cone from this collection. All right, next up, you guys, I have a grapefruit rosé, which I am so freaking excited about because I love anything grapefruit. This is sparkling grapefruit frozen rosé sun splashed sugar. Oh my gosh, sugary grapefruit, ro like sounds so good. Oh, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Granted, you'd have to like grapefruit smells, but this isn't like an obnoxious grapefruit because of how sweet it is, the very sugary grapefruit. And it's just nice. It kind of smells like... Hold up. Low-key, you guys, this kind of smells like Passion Punch from Victoria's Secret Pink. This has a grapefruit note. It smells kind of similar. But I feel like grapefruit rosé is almost like you can smell the sugar in there versus this is sweet. But you can't separate the sugar, it's just all sweet, you know? But they smell super similar, and this smells similar to Pure Seduction Radiant, but since I love grapefruit so much, I need both. It literally smells like you're eating a grapefruit that you poured sugar on, which by the way, I know most people do that, but I have never put sugar on a grapefruit. That makes no sense to me, like, I like that bitter taste. But yeah, this is bomb. If you like grapefruit, you will be obsessed with this, I promise. Alright, up next, you guys, we have Midnight Swim. See, this packaging reminds me of winter, like, I don't know, doesn't it look like snowy, like, hills? I don't know, this is Blue Waters Beach Flower Fresh Coastal Air. So, let's see. This sounds like it's gonna be very, like, a uh, aquatic, maybe? This is very pleasant, and it reminds me of gingham. Almost get some kind of, of a citrus scent in here. It's very strange. It's a very, like, it literally reminds me of gingham. It's like an airy, clean laundry scent. 
it doesn't necessarily remind me of like ocean or water. It's more of like a clean laundry scent. That beach flower is very pretty and I know there's no citrus in the scent notes, but I swear initial spray, I get this like, I almost said wind smell, but like airy, I guess. Like citrus scent. I don't know. It's just a nice clean laundry scent. If you like gingham, I feel like you will like this. And I do like the name. I think Midnight Swim is so pretty for summer. But yeah, just a fresh clean scent. I mean, I like it. I don't think it's unique in any way, but I think a lot of people will really enjoy this if you like those fresh clean scents. Up next, you guys, we have Sunkissed. So this one is Sun-drenched orange blossom, sparkling sea salt, vanilla breeze. So let us smell this guy. Okay, so this is the most summery out of all of them for sure. Probably because it has a suntan lotion smell to it for sure. And you can smell the salt. It literally smells like salty beach air, suntan lotion, and like a little bit of orange. And I do get vanilla, it is slightly creamy, but in like a, not in a gourmand way, in like a my suntan lotion smells like vanilla kind of way, you know? Like it smells like you lotioned up with vanilla suntan lotion while you're at a very salty like beach air location with some orange. It smells really good. If you like those like beachy type scents, I highly recommend this. I can see it giving me a headache because Suntan lotion smells sometimes can do that or like salty air smells can sometimes like give me a little bit of a headache But it is very pretty and this reminds me of the beach and reminds me of summer All the other ones are very pretty so far, but they don't make me think like summer right away, you know This one definitely smells like summer. It's very very pretty. Okay last but not least from that collection We have sea salt and lavender. This is fresh sea salt blooming lavender sun drenched sands I'm not like huge on lavender. I know it's supposed to be calming. Lavender does nothing to me. Like minty smells calm me. Lavender doesn't, but I did love lavender and honey from Bath and Body Works. That was like such a nice scent. So I'm curious if I will like this. Okay, so I will say this is my least favorite from the collection, but I can see where people would really enjoy this. You definitely smell a very pretty, like, mellow lavender, like it's beautiful. I do get that salty air again, but not in a, like, suntan lotion kind of way, just in, like, a salty sand and lavender growing everywhere. It's very pretty and fresh. It does have a little bit of like some kind of musk in there, I think. Let me know if you've smelled this. I smell something like headache inducing in here. But keep in mind, I'm very particular about musk and scents. I like like fresh, fruity, um, sweet floral type scents um, because anything musky or heavier can give me a headache. But a lot of people might actually enjoy that. But yeah, it's pretty. I wouldn't say it's my favorite from the collection. All right, you guys, let's move on to this like 4th of July type themed collection. And I'm not gonna lie, like these caps have glitter. Can I show you? Like, will it focus? Will you be able to see? Probably not, I don't know. But they have glitter on them. And I want to buy all of them and switch out all the caps in my collection because that's so freaking cool. But let's start with Bonfire Bash. Uh, this was out during some annual sale, right guys? Like, let me know if I'm wrong, but I remember smelling it in store and not really liking it, but we're gonna give it another chance. This is Vanilla Bourbon Creamy Sandalwood Cashmere Musk. I don't like sandalwood. I don't like cashmere. I don't like musk. Vanilla Bourbon. This doesn't sound like a fragrance I would like, so it makes sense if I didn't, but let us smell it. I get it. This reminds me of a less marshmallowy version of At the Beach. It's that like summertime, late summer into fall bonfire smell, you know? Where you're at a bonfire, it's a little smoky, that bourbon is a little smoky. 
So is that sandalwood. You definitely get a lot of cashmere. So it's one of those like heavier smoky bonfire smells. Which would be nice if you're going to a bonfire. If you want to give that vibe like during the summertime. I don't think it's for me. It's a little too like musky and cashmere-y but a lot of people do like cashmere. Cashmere is in bare vanilla and people really love bare vanilla so I don't know, it is very smoky, like, it almost smells like ash. Yeah, it's, it's, it's okay, um, I don't think it's for me, but I can see how a lot of people would really enjoy this if you like this type of scents. Alright, up next we have Denim and Daisies. This one I was so excited for just because of the name, like, this just makes me feel like I'm, like, in the country, like, running around barefoot in a field with, like, jeans that are, like, dirty and, like, have rips in them that were made not by, like, fashion people but like from actually like falling on the ground you know like that's what this makes me think of and it makes me happy so this is sweet daisy sunwash denim summer citrus so let us smell this this is very pretty and pleasant i wouldn't say it's like unique in any way i do get a very pretty daisy scent a small bit of citrus and then like a fresh laundry smell. You know what like, this kind of smells like? Hear me out. Like, have you ever, if you've ever hung your clothes outside to dry, like on actual lines, like, and you walk past the area where the clothes are hanging, you get a, like, and the wind blows, you get a whiff of that clean laundry smell and it's like super airy. I don't know if anyone can relate to that, but. That's what it kind of reminds me of. The daisies are beautiful in this, like so pretty, so pleasant, very light. I don't, this is a very, very light fragrance. Like I can almost barely smell it. So it's hard to pick out the notes. There's maybe a little bit of citrus that just makes it like laundry like. I don't think it's an, there's no overpowering citrus scent in here at all. I can already barely smell it. So yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty. And then from that line, the third one is Firecracker Pop, which I was most excited for. This is Red Cherry Fresh Citrus Juicy Berry. All things that I like. Um, and I'm guessing this is going to smell like a cherry snow cone. Or so I'm hoping. This smells like a fruit by the foot. A cherry fruit by the foot. I will say, just from initial spray, tiny bit of cough syrup, cherry cough syrup, just a tiny bit. Usually I'd hate that, but it's growing on me. You know what's weird? As it's settling, it's getting sweeter and like the berries are coming out more. And now it smells like a snow cone, like a cherry snow cone and a fruit roll up. The cherry is borderline a little like too medicine-y for me but I kind of love it like come on firecracker pop cherry snow cone I'll take a little bit of medicine smell I'll do it I'll take it yeah I really like this one if you don't like that like cherry medicine smell you probably won't like this but if you just think of a fruit roll-up and a cherry snow cone this is gonna be like summer in a bottle for you yeah, that's my fave from that collection. Yum. And then you guys, we have Midsummer Dream. So this is Salted Pear, Fresh Nectarine, Seaside Lily. So there's been a lot of like pear scents lately and anything salted could be headache inducing. Nectarine is always very fresh and pretty. Seaside Lily, we'll see. I don't know. Um, let's smell it. I'm excited because um, if this is this has like a full collection to it. like everything, perfume, all of it. This is beautiful. You literally smell every single note in here in the most mellow, beautiful, like, I don't even know. You get a salted pear, like you definitely get a pear, 
that just makes it like airy and fresh and like not juicy juicy but like a sweet fruit -y pear I guess it's very airy and fresh you get a little bit of that like salt air but not in a headache inducing kind of way in a very pleasant mellow way you get that like slight citrus but it's not a citrus fragrance necessarily and that seaside lily just makes it very feminine this is just a very feminine beautiful fragrance I actually am shocked that I like this so much all of you guys let me know if you've tried any of these which ones are your favorite which ones you're most excited for and what you think of these kind of videos and I will be back with another video very soon thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye guys